Well, you want to know whether you're finding the scale factor from this figure on the left to this figure on the right, or if you're going from the figure on the right to the figure on the left. So that's very important, is uh, the direction that you're scaling the figure. And the formula I like to remember, this is just a simple way of doing it, is just think about new divided by old. So if I'm going from this triangle to this triangle, this is my new triangle, and I'm going to divide by the old triangle. Now what you want to do, if the figures are similar, and they tell you that in the problem, you want to match up the corresponding sides. So say for example, if I'm comparing 4 and 10, I'm going from 4 to 10, what am I multiplying by to get from 4 to 10? That's my scale factor. So the easiest way to do this would just be to take the new length, which is 10, divided by the old length, which is 4, and you can see that's giving us a scale factor of 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5. So this is going to be 2.5 times uh, you know, the scaled. Okay, so the sides are two and a half times longer. Now, the one way that you can tell if you're on the right track is if the scale factor is greater than one, then that means it's an enlargement. It's getting bigger, so enlargement. Now, if the scale factor is less than one, okay, like a half or a third or something like that, then it's a reduction. It's getting smaller. So, if we're going from this figure to this figure, okay, now this would be the new length. That's four. The old length was 10. Now we're looking at a scale factor of 2 fifths. And you can see 2 fifths is less than 1. So you can see that this is a reduction. And that makes sense because you can see this figure is you know, a lot smaller. But notice that these are reciprocals of each other. So even if you mix it up and you say, well, I got 2 fifths, but it doesn't make sense. This figure is larger. I'm going from here to here. It should be, you know, all you have to do is just take the reciprocal and you realize, oh, the scale factor is 5 halves. So that's how you work with scale factor. It's very simple. Again, just pay attention to the direction that you're going and use the formula new divided by old and you got it. So subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.